Uh, when I got out of prison, they banned me from the internet for an entire year. Mm -hmm. They only allowed me to have one phone and one computer, which the court monitored, and they charge you exorbitant rates to monitor. Of right? And they try to act like, oh, uh, we don't make kickbacks off any of this stuff. But uh, with the ankle trackers, with the, all the excessive counseling services, like they made me do drug counseling, even though it had nothing to do with drugs, they made me do uh, anger stuff, mental health stuff, right? They just load on all these extra services oh, and yeah. make those part of the terms you release. And the courts make kickbacks off all of them. And so like pre-trial with the ankle tracker, they try to act like, I asked the guy, they're like, oh, are you making money off this? They're like, no, no, of course not. And originally they had, they were thinking like, okay, this guy is uh, unemployed at the moment, right? He had an IT business, we crushed that, so he doesn't have a job. And they charged me a dollar a day for the privilege of having this ankle tracker and this unconstitutional uh, in-home detention. And then when they realized I was doing this documentary, he's like, oh, um, I, I see that you're working out, so I'm gonna start charging you $5 a day. So I was like, okay, so uh, I know on the record, you deny the fact that the courts are, you know, corporate entities that make kickbacks off this stuff. But uh, is your buy rate from Geo Group, the company who makes these trackers, is it different based on uh, my job situation? Your or uh, are you putting that extra money in your pocket every month? So it's just, there's a huge financial incentive for them to add all these frivolous terms, conditions, and uh, ways that the courts can make money on there. They deny that that happens, but of course that happens.